Good morning. So I know it's been a hot minute since I picked up my camera last and recorded, but I'm back. <laughs> I'm back. Um, I've been. I was going through some stuff. I took that time for me. Um, I know it sounds selfish, but I, I'm, I'm the person who's always doing for everybody, and I don't take the time out to do for me. So I've been focusing on me. I've been taking care of me um you know and i've had a lot of things that came up that i've had to do and stuff like that and i just didn't have time um you know a, a lot of people think that oh but you're a stay-at-home mom whatever this and that yeah well, i'm a stay-at-home mom but just because i'm a stay-at-home mom doesn't mean that i'm sitting on my ass all day no i have shit to do at the end of the day i am tired you get me i have things to get done it's been a couple of things um i recently had a health scare um, to the point where I thought it was going to be cancerous because there was that possibility. And, um, you know, thankfully it wasn't that. It was the complete opposite and I got it taken care of. I'm healing right now and um, that's, you know, it's been another thing. I kind of wanted to keep that to myself. Um, for a while until I was sure and thankfully it's nothing serious I'm good and um, you know I had Thanksgiving coming up I had family in and out of the house uh, my son's birthday party um, things at my son's school it's it's just been really really freaking hectic for me for Thanksgiving um, my mom was here since November 17th um, and we were busy with, you know, things for my son's birthday party. We were busy with, um, we were busy with, you know, um, things for Thanksgiving. We were, we were doing a lot. Of my man's family came over for Thanksgiving. We had a great time. We, we had a turkey. We had, you know, freaking rice. Chicken no sé qué. We had so much shit. We had some, we had fun that day. Um, let's see. My son's birthday party was pretty hectic because it was a Minecraft theme, so I was planning the whole time on how to decorate. If you guys can see all of those balloons right there and stuff, I inflated all of them with like a pump. I decorated everything myself. I had help from my dad and my brother who were also here to help me hang up the happy birthday banner and like all the little Minecraft, um... All the little Minecraft characters and stuff like that. You just tape them and all those balloons and stuff. And so yeah, my ha the, the party was literally a week ago. It, the party was a week ago. And my house is still a mess. My house is still a mess. Um, I still have things to put away, like things that don't belong downstairs and stuff like that. I have to put those back. Um, yeah. His friends came over, like, from school. Not all of them, but it was a good amount of kids. Like, I was not expecting, like, so many kids to come through and stuff like that. Um, I wasn't expecting him to get so many gifts and all that. So, if any of you out there who came to his birthday party are watching, thank you so much. <laughs> he loved each and every single gift. He had a great time with his friends. Um, I'll probably insert some pictures, like, later, stuff like that from his birthday party. Um, my mom did do the cake, I did the decorating, we made cupcakes, we made um, chocolate covered pretzels, which my friend Jennifer did, thank you so much. She saved my life because I was frustrated. It was this cheap ass Walmart candy that you're supposed to like double boil and shit like that or you can put it in the microwave, but it was horrible, like it was all sticky and stuff, but whatever, it turned out great. Um, we had fun. We are still dealing with a bully issue, which... I'm to the point where I am tomorrow, Monday, I am taking it to the principal and if, you know, if nothing gets done about it, I'm taking it to the school board because I'm really sick and tired of the same shit. Like, it's the same kid. Um, Thursday, he told me that the kid hit him in the arm. You know, it was already late by the time we got out. Like, for you to go and speak to somebody, it's already late. And, um... You know, because everybody's dealing with dismissal and, you know, getting their shit ready to go home and all that stuff. And then Thursday, I couldn't do anything about it because Thursday I was super busy. My mom and my dad both left. And um, we had a few things to go do. And we I didn't send him to school because Thursday he came home with a fever. Friday, the whole day he had a fever. 
Thankfully, yesterday, Saturday, he was good. He's good now. He's good to go. There's he's not sick anymore and all that stuff. So I'm pretty, I'm, I'm pretty excited about that, you know, because I hate when he's sick because he, he plays and stuff, but he just doesn't get hungry. So I suffer because he doesn't eat. Um, let's see. So yeah, tomorrow Monday, I have to go and take it up with the principal and stuff like that. Talk about it because I'm getting really tired of this. It's been. Two times already that we spoke to the um, behavior analysis counselor and this kid is still doing shit. You get me? Like, I don't know. Um, I don't know. I'm going to have to find a way to take care of it somehow because, I mean, I know that the child is only five years old, six years old, whatever, but you can tell the parents aren't doing shit. The parents are not getting involved enough because I'm not saying that my son is a saint. But I am 100% involved in everything that my child does. Um, you know, that's why his grades are good. That's why he knows how to read the way he does now. That's why he knows how to write the way he does now. He knows his shit. I am 100% involved in my child's education. Even when I was working. Even when I was a working mom, I was 100% involved in my child's education. Because all it takes is 30 minutes. You come home tired, congratulations. You get me? You're a parent. You have to do your shit. You have to. I'm sorry. You have to. There is no excuse. There's parents that, oh, I'm so tired. I just want to come home and lay down. I don't want to cook. I don't want to clean. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do here. I don't want to do there. Okay, that's fine. You don't want to cook? Okay, buy food. You don't want to clean? Okay, leave it for your day off. You get me? Um, But there is no excuse for you to not take out five to ten minutes of your time to talk to your child about their, their education, to check up on how they're doing, to do this, to do that, to do here. There is no excuse. There is no excuse on that. You know, you have to be involved in your child's educational life. Also, I've been dealing with um, the volunteering. I finally uh, started volunteering in my son's school. Each and every single one of those kids have got my attention they've got my heart i fell in love i did not go help on thursday because thursday you know since my parents left on friday i had to do a few things with them you know had to go take care of a few things and stuff like that so i didn't get to go thursday nor friday since my son didn't go to school that day but i suffered those two days i'm suffering now like every time i would look at the time and i'm like oh my god right now they're at you know their specials like they're they're you know like art class or something uh, at, the, at this time I would look and I was like, oh, they're heading to lunch at this time. They're doing math at this time. They're they're doing recess So I suffered I suffered a lot and it's only been two days and it's only been two days that I want to go and volunteer and stuff like that and <sighs> I fell in love with it So I've also been you know, like focusing on me to like um, I really haven't done it I've just been talking about it and it was just something that it was recent like two days ago recent two three days ago recent and it's to, you know, take the next step in my life and to get um, some type of degree to help kids, like whether it be a teacher, whether it be a substitute teacher, whether it be a teacher assistant, whether it be some type of counseling or something, something to help kids. Because when I was there those two days, I was helping these kids like the teacher let me grab each one of them individually and stuff like that. And I sat with like, I'm going to tell you like three kids, three kids. And it's really sad to see that one of them in particular doesn't know how to spell his own name. He doesn't, you know, you ask him a question and it takes him a few seconds to process what you asked him and then for him to respond. And you can tell that the parents are not doing anything. You can tell that they're not doing anything. You know, they're not taking him anywhere for any special type of, you know, help or nothing like that. They're not doing anything. This kid, it broke my heart. Like, my eyes got watery and everything when I sat down with him to, like, write. I told him to write the word ball. He kept pointing at it. He kept telling me it was a ball. He knew what it was. But when I asked him to write it, I copied a letter. I copied the letter B for him. When I gave him that pencil, guys his writing skill was like the writing skill of a one-year-old a one-year-old who has just discovered a pencil that you know when they start writing and it's just like scribbles a bunch of lines everywhere that is his writing level he is five six years old and his writing level is of a one-year-old and it was really really sad it it killed me 
The other two, um, you know, they were so behind. They didn't know how to read. I would sit down with them. One of them stutters like crazy. And, you know, he reads and he repeats the same words. He won't keep on with the other ones, even though you've just said them. And it's it's really, really sad. So I need to find a way to, you know, get my shit together and help kids because there's a lot of kids. And it's not only them. It's, this is something every day. This is something every year that teachers have to deal with. And that's another thing that I wanted to say, you know, like, um, teachers get a lot of shit. They get more shit than they do credit. They get more shit than they do credit, you know, and, you know, it sucks. You teachers, if there's any of you that watch this and you're teachers, thank you for everything you do because you guys have to deal with so much shit. You guys have to deal with so much shit on a daily basis and, wow. So that's basically what's been going on with me and stuff like that. Um, you know, it was mainly my health scare and stuff like that. You know, I did fall into like an anxiety state. My anxiety was on full mode all day, every day. But I did not let myself, I did not let myself get to the point of depression because I still didn't know what was going to come out of it. You know, and I had my family, I had my friends support me you know the friends that really knew and stuff like that support me like don't worry until there is something to worry about and you know they were taking me here and there to get my mind off of it and stuff like that so thank you guys so much you know my family was way supportive through it they're still supportive through it so are my friends and everything so thank you really so much my family thank you so much i love you guys and um yeah that's pretty much it you guys i am gonna take my son today to a friend's house uh, my friend jennifer she's gonna come by for us we're gonna go to her house have a little fun let the kids play and stuff like that because they need to see each other and he's happy about it <laughs> hi so yeah um what else and that's pretty much it that's pretty much it um i did get asked a few questions on instagram um one of them was, why did I stop blogging? Uh, why did I stop blogging? I just explained everything. It was because, um, you know, I had so much stuff coming up with, like, the holidays and stuff. I still have a lot of things coming up for, like, the holidays and everything. Um, but what my main, my main, main, main reason that I stopped blogging was, like, my health concern and everything. Um, that was what set me back. The next question was, why are you so cute, though? Cause I am. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, and the last one was, do I know anybody who suffers from anxiety? Yes, me. I suffer from anxiety. I have a few friends who suffer from anxiety. Um, you know, you're not alone in this. Um, you you know who you are. You know exactly who you are. The person that asked me is. You can message me whenever you want. But yeah, you guys, that was like my little update. Um. I, I we just woke up actually I've been awake since seven I got up took a shower I put away so much laundry two baskets and a whole fucking garbage bag of clothes I put everything away and I'm dead but right now I'm gonna have like a Cuban ass breakfast I got freaking papita frita in el horno right now so I'm gonna go make some eggs, some turkey bacon, serve myself some orange juice because your girl is hungry. You guys see this little ass pan? This cute ass little pan. It looks like a little freaking toy pan. But this shit, you guys, I've been cooking eggs there. I've been making um sunny side up eggs here. And guys, they come out so cute and small. And um they come out like two tight ass huevos. <laughs> and um it doesn't stick. So I'm gonna hook it up with some bacon and um making the eggs there and excuse my oven, my dirty ass oven, I gotta clean it, and then like the papitas fritas are in there. My fridge also looks like a hot mess because my mom was here and you guys know that moms, when they go to your house and they look at your fridge, even though your fridge is full, they tell you you don't have anything in there. So they go and they splurge and they buy you so much stuff. So yeah, that, that's my mother. Thank you, mommy. So, I've only pulled out two eggs so far. And, and now I need to get two more. And this is bullshit because I have to freaking tippy toe. I have to tippy toe to try to at least look inside to get them out. There we go. <laughs> okay. So my son's want my son wants eggs. So now I have to pull out one more. 
I got it. Good morning, sunshine. Let me see who it is. It's you. Oh. <laughs> I thought it was Sophia. No. Say good morning. To everybody. Hi. Use your teeth. Look, guys, his little teeth. No, open. They're kind of, I don't know if you guys can see it, but they're popping out already. Like, they're coming out. Ah, I can't focus this damn camera. Stay still. What are you watching? Hi, you. I like this little pan. It's so cute. It's really, really cute. Look, they come out like this. Like, all circular and stuff. And then we got a bacon there. And I think my fries should be ready by now. Because I have checked on them and they were still a little, like, soft. So, they were still a little soft. So, I'm going to see if they're ready now. Now what? I'm trying to casually pee. No! And he comes into the bathroom and he starts doing this. Get down. Get down. Help! Help! Jerry. <laughs> I can't pee in peace. <laughs> that was crazy. Dame beso. I almost hang up there. Crazy. Moms can't pee in peace. You see that, right? Moms cannot pee in peace. Because tiny people are always in here. Do it again. I'm going to leave you there. No. I'm going to go right under you and you're going to stay here. <laughs> <laughs> Almost was dead yet. You're crazy. The pantry's still a mess. The pantry, I have to take a date and like reorganize it and stuff like that. So the bags, I use them in the bathroom. So that's why it's like a, like a crap ton of bags down there. But yeah. What are you doing? Can I get out the bathroom, please? <laughs> Never. Oh my God. Okay, bye. Yo, I cannot be the only one who freaking remembers Pippi Longstocking. So, I have this ghetto-ass antenna right there because I don't have cable. And I am sw switching through whatever channels they have at the moment because it changes every hour. And I just landed on Pippi Longstocking. Yesterday, I was landed on Madeline. So I'm just sitting down. It's already what, like 11 o'clock. I'm just sitting down. I'm chilling. We already had breakfast and all that stuff. Um, I'm just chilling right now for a little bit until like, I'm gonna say till like 12 ish. Start getting ready like at 12 ish and stuff like that. And then just um, hit up Jennifer and let her know that we're ready so that like, she can come pick us up. She already told me that they're gonna be doing um, ugly Christmas cookies and stuff like that. So. We're going to see if Juan Andres' other little friend um, can come through. And it'll be like the three of them baking cookies and stuff like that just hanging out. So we're going to see how it goes. I'm like, and it's freaking raining. It is freaking raining outside. It's raining outside and I'm casually watching the freaking squirrels play. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, is that? I can only see it from the camera. I can't really see it from where I'm sitting. But there's damn squirrels running around all the time. I don't know. I don't see them right now, but it is freaking pouring outside. So hopefully, oh, I mean, we have an umbrella. It's not like we're going anywhere else. We're just going to go to her house. So hopefully the day um, clears up. Yeah. What are you guys making? Nana, what you making? Cookies. Wow. You see? Wow. Oh my god. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> I don't have the patience. Patience? I have no patience. Why not? Yeah. Fun. It's like, look at hers. It's all cute and shit. <laughs> and then look at mine. I don't know what the freak this is supposed to be. 
But look at hers. And then look at mine. Hey guys, so I am finally home. I had a blast. Um, from what you guys saw, the kids were doing like little Christmas cookies and stuff like that. And then from there, me and her just started doing like little beads and stuff like that. I made one for her daughter. I didn't record that because my son was up and down with my phone and you know, that's you guys know that's how I vlog and stuff like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and close out this video. Um, this was just supposed to be like a little life update video for you guys but i decided to go ahead and throw out the rest of my day in here now i am gonna start editing i am right now just watching a christmas movie and eating more food um she made um alfredo today with broccoli and it's bomb and i'm just having this is my third plate my third plate so yeah <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go and I will see you guys in my next vlog. This is what I've been hiding.